Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I've got some watercolor paper that I put into sections and I have this Prima Mark Reading Arc uh, Art Philosophy Currents set that um, I have not yet swatched out. So I'm going to do it on here, but it's all blues and greens. Um, and I don't know if you can see the colors there, but all blues and greens, things you would do with watertight um, paintings. So I'm going to use that to kind of mishmash, but before I do, I'm going to stamp some flowers. The Stampers Anonymous number CMS297 flower jar. And this is what we have so far. So let's see what happens. Activate those colors. Mm. Look at this color here. And we want to kind of just get some wetness going as well so we can drop colors. Ooh. <laughs> you can use like some little splatterings of the darker colors in there. And generally speaking, with watercolors, they get lighter when they dry, so oftentimes you just layer and layer. is a suggestion of the plant. Okay, and you could keep going and going. Um, and then you want to go in, you can use um, a water resistant um, pen to go in and define anything else you want that kind of got lost. A little bit of gesso. And... Okay, so we're going to peel this away, the fun part, and then you can use these for ephemera. You could uh, cut them apart, scan them in, which is probably what I will do. Um, you can make them for little note cards um, that, you know, you can mount onto some cardstock and make little note cards. That would be fun. So let's see if we can remember the last one we did. <laughs> 
tape. It's always satisfying to see those nice clean lines. So that's our finished work there. And then you can I'm gonna scan that in and then I can make ephemera pieces out of there. Like I said, you could cut these down and make little note card set for someone and then make a pretty bag or box out of some paper. Um, you can the, use these in art journaling, all sorts of things. So hopefully that um, will get you going down with your paints. It's nice, especially when you have a limited palette like this. Um, one way that you could use that besides painting the um, watery ways that it was designed for. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for joining me. Hit that like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the links below. Have a great day.